Welcome, Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors brings you once again the South Union Township Sports Network. Today via tape delay from Beaner Baseball Field here in Hutchison, Pennsylvania, it's Hark Youth Baseball in the new Major League Division. The Angels and the Pirates will go at it here this evening. Hello everyone, this is Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry Dupay and we welcome you aboard for tonight's game. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the supervisors, Bob Schiff, by Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, everyone at CUTV with Gary Smith. Once again, this is Gary Frankhauser with your play-by-play. -play. Jerry Dupay on the camera. We'll be right back with the lineups and the first pitch right after these messages. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. You call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-438. 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Welcome back here at Hutchison, the Hark New Major League Division. The Angels will be the visitors here in our first game, and the Pirates will be the home team looking at the lineup for the Angels leading off playing first base Carson Scott. Playing left field, Braden Piwowar. Playing shortstop, Carden, Carter Rosendale. Pitching, Gene Thorpe. Behind the plate, Lucas Mathias. Playing second base, Adam Thomas. Playing third base, Casey Karwatsky. In right field, Braden Tanklevich. The extra hitter is Tyler Williams. And in center field, Cameron Culp. On the other side of the ledger for the Pirates. Leading off, playing shortstop, Tyler Gasper. Pitching and batting second, Alex Sutton. Batting third, Anthony Servone. He'll be in center field. Batting fourth, Gary Smitley playing first base. Batting fifth, Luke Grimm. He's at second base. Batting sixth, Cam Van Meter. He's the catcher. Batting seventh, Roman Haskins. He's at third base. Batting eighth, Jacob Jones in left field. Batting ninth, Hunter Bolin. He's in right field. And the extra hitter for the Pirates is Trenton Clemmer. Those are our lineups. We're just about ready for action. Umpire's going over the final details here. Field's in excellent shape. Bright sunshine here at Hark. And we'll be right back with the first pitch. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Many people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health.
Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Welcome back here at Hutchison, the Hark New Major League Division. The Angels will be the visitors here in our first game, and the Pirates will be the home team looking at the lineup for the Angels leading off playing first base Carson Scott, playing left field Braden Piwowar, playing shortstop Carden, Carter Rosendale, pitching Gene Thorpe, behind the plate Lucas Mathias, playing second base Adam Thomas, playing third base Casey Karwatsky, in right field, Braden Tanklevich. The extra hitter is Tyler Williams. And in center field, Cameron Culp. On the other side of the ledger for the Pirates, leading off playing shortstop, Tyler Gasper. Pitching and batting second, Alex Sutton. Batting third, Anthony Servone. He'll be in center field. Batting fourth, Gary Smitley playing first base. Batting fifth, Luke Grimm. He's at second base. Batting sixth, Cam Van Meter, he's the catcher. Batting seventh, Roman Haskins, he's at third base. Batting eighth, Jacob Jones in left field. Batting ninth, Hunter Bolin, he's in right field. And the extra hitter for the Pirates is Trenton Clemmer. Those are our lineups. We're just about ready for action. Umpires going over the final details here. Field's in excellent shape, bright sunshine here at Hark. And we'll be right back with the first pitch. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Welcome back, ready for new Major League Division Baseball here at Hark. The Angels visiting squad leadoff will be Carson Scott, first baseman for the Angels on the mound. For the Pirates is number three, Alex Sutton. Here we go. First delivery, swing and a miss, strike one. Good fastball there by Alex Sutton. Outfield straight away. Grass cut beautifully, beautifully manicured infield. That one's a little bit outside. One and one. Interesting to see how these young players develop and improve throughout the year. Been playing now since early May, late April, into the month of June now. Fastball outside and high, two and one. Carson Scott looking for something he likes in there at the plate. Here's the two one, little bit high, three and one. Sutton trying to find the strike zone here. Brings it in. That's a strike at the knees. Three and two. Scott thought it was ball four, but he'll have to get back in there. Full count. Sutton to Scott. Concentration there by Sutton on the mound. Here's the pitch, swinging him is strike three. So good comeback there by Alex Sutton from a 3 1 count to a swinging strikeout. One away here in the top of the first, just underway, brings up Braden Pawowar. 
will be in left field for the Angels, wearing number four. Low and outside for ball one. Carter Rosendale, the shortstop, on deck for the Angels. Breeze blowing out here at Hutchison. Might see a few plopped in the lake. 1-0 pitch, high and tight, 2-0. On the duty behind the plate for the Pirates, Cam Van Meter. Set that defense for you here momentarily. 2 0 pitch. There's a ground ball, little dribbler down to third. Tough play for the third baseman. He'll hold on. No chance there. As Roman Haskins fielded that slow dribbler down the line, but beating it out to first without a problem, Braden Piwowar for an infield single. So with one on and one out, Carter Rosendale will come to the plate. First delivery and got him. Just hit him in the back. He, he's okay though. He'll head down to first. Moves Piwowar to second, so two on with one out. And that's going to bring up Gene Thorpe, the pitcher for the Angels here this evening. One out. First pitch, there's a shot up the middle, played nicely by the shortstop on the first, almost a double play. Good play over there by the shortstop. That's Tyler Gasper for the lead runner. Now we'll have first and third with two outs, but nice play there by Gasper. Could not get it to Smitley in time for the double play, but fielder's choice for Gene Thorpe out at second was Rosendale, six unassisted. And there's a shot into right field and over the head of the right fielder. First pitch hitting there was Lucas Mathias, scores one run. Another one coming in possibly as Mathias will round third. He's headed for home, play at the plate. He's tagged, but the ball is on the ground, and he is safe. So in with a three-run inside the park home run, Lucas Mathias. Post the Pirates out now to a three to nothing lead, scoring on the play Braden Piwowar from third, all the way around from first, Gene Thorpe, and Matthias was not stopping as he goes all the way in for the three run inside the park home run for the Pirates. Brings up Adam Thomas, second baseman for the Pirates. High and tight for that first one, ball one. Get a chance once again to set that defense. Tyler Gaspers at short, Alex Sutton on the mound. Around the infield, Roman Haskins at third, Gasper at short, Luke Grimm at second base, Gary Smitley at first. In left field, Jacob Jones, center fielder, Anthony Servone. There's another little pop up to the second baseman, gloved there by Luke Grimm. And that'll do it for the Angels in the first, but they do post. Three will be back with the bottom of the first right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard earned money, you want service, real service from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service.
Coming to bat here in the bottom of the first, the Pirates trailing threes or nothing. Here's the batting order. Tyler Gasper, Alex Sutton, Anthony Servone, Gary Smitley, Luke Grimm, Cam Van Meter, Roman Haskins, Jacob Jones, Hunter Bolin, and Trenton Clemmer. For the Angels, defensively, at third base, Casey Karwatsky, at shortstop, Carter Rosendale, at second base, Adam Thomas, and at first, Carson Scott. On the mound, Gene Thorpe behind the plate, Lucas Mathias in the outfield, Braden Puowar in left, Cameron Culp in center, and Braden Tanklevich in right field. Tyler Gasper stepping in, facing Gene Thorpe. Here we go. First pitch to Gasper. There's a bunt down the first baseline. Nice bunt. Scott will not beat him to the base. A beautiful bunt there by Tyler Gasper. Bunt base hit perfectly placed down the first baseline. Nice play there by Scott, but speed down the line gets a Infield single for Tyler Gasper, leading things off for the Pirates here in the bottom of the first. Alex Sutton now, the pitcher batting second, swing and a miss. Good fastball there by Gene Thorpe. One on, nobody out. 0-1 pitch, strike on the outside corner, 0-2. O2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. So three pitch strikeout there by Thorpe. Brings up Anthony Servone, the center fielder for the Pirates with runner on at first, Tyler Gasper. Number five, Anthony Servone. Strike down the middle, good control so far for Gene Thorpe. No one pitch, foul back. Good cut there by Servone. Interesting wind up there by Gene Thorpe. Has that little kick in the delivery. Gives that little extra velocity on that fastball. Here's the pitch. There's a pop up, short left field. Now coming on and not able to make the catch out there in left was Prewowar, so that'll fall for a base hit for Anthony Servone. We'll call that E7. Now with runners at first and second, brings up Gary Smitley. First baseman for the Pirates. Digs in. Cleanup batter Smitley facing Thorpe. Foul tip off the end of the bat. Good cut there by Smitley. Three nothing Angels, bottom of the first. We'll play six here in the new Major League Division. Wind up and the 0-1, high and tight. Almost got him, got away from the catcher. That'll move up. The runners to second and third, both now in scoring position. Servone down to second. Gasper at third now. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes now to Gary Smintley trying to cash in for the Pirates here in the bottom of the first. Big pitch here. Early on, first inning, swing and a miss, strike three. So Smitley goes down for the second out of the inning. And that's, that's gonna, and that brings up Luke Grimm. Second baseman for the Pirates, still two runners out there in scoring position. Thorpe trying to pitch his way out of a little bit of a jam here in the bottom of the first with a three nothing lead. First pitch high and here comes a runner into home, and he's going to be 
tagged out at home. Wild pitch came right off the backstop. Trying to score there was Gasper, and he is tagged out at home for the third out. So the Pirates do not score. We'll go to the top of the second, 3-0 Angels right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability, and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true, and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis. Attorneys at Law. Wind picking up here a little bit at Beaner Field in the complex here at South Union Township. Hutchison Area Recreation Council, new Major League Division, due up for the Angels, Casey Karwatsky, third baseman. Still on the mound for the Pirates, Alex Sutton. Right-handed hitting Karwatsky, takes strike one. Off-speed pitch there by Sutton, catches the outside corner. Here's the 0-1. Dribbler in the box caught the batter while he was still in the box, so foul ball for strike two. O-2 pitch. Sutton trying to work out. So that one's a little bit outside for ball one. Karwatsky leading off the second with the Angels up three to nothing. One two pitch. There's a pop up that's playable, playable, but it's foul. Good try there by Sutton. Had a glove on it, but just could not reach. So Karwatsky still with life. Count remains one and two. Check into the plate. Here's a pitch. Strike three called on the outside corner. Karwatsky, the first victim, second strikeout of the game for Sutton. That's going to bring up Braden Tanklovich. Nicknamed Tank appropriately. Just misses outside. Ball one. One out here, top of the second. Three nothing, Angels on top. 
Strike on the outside corner that time. Good pitch there by Sutton. Tough one to hit for Tanglevich. Just a little bit outside, two and one. Bright sunshine here still. Strike on the inside corner, game time 545. Second game starts at 745 here at Hark. Two two pitch. Inside, ball three, that will run the count full. Danklevich facing Sutton. 3-2 three, pitch. Strike three at the knees. So second strikeout looking for Sutton here in the second. Brings up Tyler Williams. Sutton looking for a 1-2-3 inning here. First pitch low and in the dirt. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. That's a strike right at the letters. Good heat on that one by Sutton. Williams ready at the plate. Sutton with the pitch, strike two. That's on the outside corner. Impressive inning so far for Alex Sutton on the hill. Here's the one, two. Just a bit outside, two and two. Two outs in the inning, both by way of strikeout. Two two pitch, strike three called. So three strikeouts in the inning for Alex Sutton. Sends the Pirates to the bottom of the second, still trailing three to nothing. We'll be right back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Due up for the Pirates here in the bottom of the second, Luke Grimm, Cam Van Meter, and Roman Haskins. Grimm was at the plate when Gasper was tagged out trying to score on a wild pitch. So he'll get another opportunity with a clean slate. Facing Gene Thorpe. Luke Grimm, second baseman for the Pirates. Here's the first pitch. There's a shot down the right side. That'll be foul. Good contact there by Luke. 
His teammates asking him to straighten that one out. Back deep in the box. Graham faces the 0-1. That's inside for ball one, one and one. Left fielder for the Angels playing shallow and toward the line. Center field shaded over to the right side. 1-1 one, one pitch in there for strike two. Pretty good control so far by Gene Thorpe. Keeping it around that strike zone. Here's a pitch. Strike three called on the inside corner. Third strikeout recorded there by Gene Thorpe. One out in the inning will bring up the catcher, Cam Van Meter. First pitch just inside, ball one. Van Meter digging in at home. Here's the wind and the delivery. A little grounder to first base. Scott will take it unassisted for the second out of the inning. Unassisted by Cameron Scott. I'm sorry, Carson Scott. Cam Van Meter was the batter. Two outs brings up the third baseman, Roman Haskins. Win really picking up now, blowing straight out to left field. There's the first pitch to Haskins inside for ball one. One zero -oh pitch in there for a strike. One and one, two outs in the inning. 3-0 Angels. We're in the bottom of the second. That one's way high. Just got away from Thorpe a little bit on that one. 2-1. and one. Delivery by Thorpe. Swing at the high fastball. Two and two. Thorpe, two two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. So three up, three down for the Pirates in the bottom of the second. We'll go to the third. Angels on top, three to nothing here on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service.
Welcome back. We're ready for the top half of the third inning with the score three to nothing. Angels on top. Leading off for the Angels is Cameron Culp, center fielder. He'll be followed by the top of the lineup, Carson Scott and Braden Puowar. Good inning last inning, pitching wise for Alex Sutton, three strikeouts. Here we go. Swing and a miss. Good fastball on the inside part of the plate. I'm liking Sutton's motion out there. He not excessive wind up, just basically working from the stretch position. Here's a pitch. Strike two on the outside corner. Cameron Culp at the plate for the Angels. 0-2 oh, offering, swing and a miss, strike three. So four strikeouts in a row recorded by Alex Sutton for the Pirates. Brings up the top of the order, Cameron Scott. Struck out his first time up. I'm sorry, Carson, I keep saying Cameron. Got a couple Camerons, Carson Scott. Fouls that one back. Good cut there by Carson. Apologize to Carson and his family. Supervisor Jason Scott. Oh, one pitch. Just inside for ball one. One and one. Top of the third inning. One out. Carson Scott at the plate. 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside and low. 2-1. and one. Straight away and deep now for Carson Scott. Left field, center, and right. Right shaded towards the foul line down the right field line. 212 down the line here at the Little League field. Ball three outside, three and one. Three one pitch. There's a high fly ball to left field. Going back, going back. It's gone. Carson Scott with the high fly ball to left field, clearing the fence right over to the Siler excavating sign for the home run by Carson Scott, adding to the Angel lead, now making it four to nothing. High fastball, he just drove it out of here down the left field line. Ball retrieved before it made it into the Hutchison Reservoir here at Hutchison Sportsman's Club. Brings up the second batter in the lineup, Brandon Piwowar. I'm sorry, Braden Piwowar. Singled back in the First inning, little dribbler down the third base line, came around to score. Fastball, good smoke on that one. High and outside, though, for ball one. Second pitch to B. Woward. There's another ground ball to short. Got the ball, pitch throw to first. Uh, unable to make the catch over here at first base. A little short on the throw there. Shortstop Tyler Gasper over to his first baseman. Gary Smitley gets away and goes into the dugout. So dead ball will move Piwowar to second. We're going to give him an infield single. Tough play there. Brings up Rosendale. Got hit by a pitch back in the first. Ball. 
One out in the inning, one run in. There's a pitch, high and tight for ball one. Rosendale facing Sutton. one -oh pitch, low and in the dirt. Good catch there by the catcher for the Pirates, Cam Van Meter. Two O pitch, ball three. Another good stop there by Van Meter. Three and O, one out, one run in, four nothing Angels. Concentration there by Sutton trying to come back. At ball four in the dirt. That's going to bring up Thorpe on on a fielder's choice. His first time up. Came around to score the second run for the Angels back in the first inning. First and second now for the Angels. Strike on the outside corner. Ball trickles away from Van Meter. That's going to allow both runners to move up. But strike one to Gene Thorpe. Mound opponent for Sutton. Oh, one pitch. Good fastball. Little foul tip caught by Van Meter. 0 oh 2. Sutton. Trying to work outs here for the Pirates. There's a pitch just outside. He's going to come in, in. and he's going to be out at home. It's Piwowar out at home on the wild pitch. Good flip toss there by Van Meter to Sutton for the second out. So a nice play there. Good hustle. Good hustle in by Sutton to cover home and make the tag. For the second out, moves Rosendale down to third. One ball, two strikes. Here's a pitch. There's a little looper down the right field line. That's going to be foul. Good pitch there by Sutton. Had Thorpe a little behind, but good contact by Thorpe. Loop that down the right field line, just foul. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that'll do it for the inning. One run scored by the Angels. They lead four to nothing as we go to the bottom of the third here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-438. 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. the third for the Pirates do up Jacob Jones, Hunter Bolin, and Trenton Clemmer. 
Bottom three of the order for the Pirates. Finishing his warm-ups out there. Gene Thorpe set down the Pirates last inning, one, two, three. Jacob Jones, the left fielder for the Pirates, stepping in. There's a pitch, low and inside. Good try there on a block behind the plate there. Lucas Mathias. One zero -oh, high and inside two and zero. Oh. Taking his time out there, regrouping a little bit. Gene Thorpe, two zero -oh pitch, strike at the knees. Two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two. Good cut in there by Jacob Jones. Took a rip at it. Two-two pitch, high and inside, full count. Wind still picking up here, blowing straight out to left field. 3-2 pitch, high and inside for ball four. So leadoff walk worked there by Jacob Jones. Brings up Hunter Bolin, left fielder. I'm sorry, right fielder. Wearing number seven. There's a pitch, swing and a miss. Shoulder high fastball. Bolin facing Thorpe. Swing and a miss, strike two, good cut. Right on it, just need to make contact. Pirates trying to cut into a four to nothing lead by the Angels here in the third. Strike three as it gets away. So first out of the inning looking strikeout of Bolin, but that'll move Jones down to second on the pass ball. Trenton Clemmer will come to the plate now. Runner in scoring to position in the form of Jones. Ball one just a little high. Here's the 1-0, and that's popped up toward us. That could be foul, and it is. Trickles foul. So one and one. Contact there by Clemmer. Spinning foul ball just fell in foul territory. Unable to be played by either Thorpe the pitcher or Matthias. One out in the inning. Strike three. No, strike two, I'm sorry. One ball, two strikes. Getting a little ahead of myself there. Still down at second, Jacob Jones. That's too high, two and two. Here's the pitch. Low and in the dirt. That's going to allow Jones to get down to third. That ball hit right on the edge of the home plate. Bounced straight up in the air. Makes it a full count here to Clemmer with one out in the inning. Thorpe with the delivery. Strike three called. Second out of the inning by way of strikeout. It's going to bring up the top of the order in Tyler Gasper with an opportunity with Jacob Jones still down on third. Pirates need to get on the board here in the third inning, trailing four to nothing. Be 
Big cut there by Gasper. Tried to make it a two-run game with that swing. Oh, one pitch. Ground ball right back to Thorpe. He picks it up on to Scott for the third out of the inning. So the Pirates unable to push anything across. We'll go to the fourth. Angels on top, four to nothing. Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry DuPay here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. For the top half of the fourth inning, new pitcher in for the Pirates. Tyler Gasper moves in from shortstop, and Alex Sutton moves to shortstop for the Pirates. And leading off for the Angels, Lucas Mathias, third baseman, hit one to right field that cleared everybody, and he was able to scoot all the way around for the inside the park home run back in the first inning, a three-run Three RBIs for Matthias in the first. Two and oh now. Gasper trying to find the strike zone here as it's first batter in the top of the fourth. There's a foul tip. So good pitch there by Gasper. One and two. Matthias leading off things here for the Angels in the top of the fourth. Late swing there. Good fastball by Gasper, and that's strike three. So one out brings up Adam Thomas, second baseman for the Angels. Gasper working quickly. Ball two, two and oh. We're in the fourth inning. It's four to nothing, Angels. One out. Good fastball there. Good smoke by Gasper as the Angels back on their heels slightly. One and two. That's just inside. Two and two. Gasper working from the stretch also. Good fastball there. Got a piece. Thomas fouls it back to the screen. Count remains two and two with one out in the inning. Beautiful night to watch baseball here at Hutchison, Pennsylvania. Strike three called on the outside corner, so back-to-back -back strikeouts for Gasper as he comes in relief in the fourth inning. That's going to bring up Casey Karwatsky. Ball just a little low and outside. Karwatsky 0 for 1 so far here this evening. Strike on the outside corner. Gasper finding his motion quickly here in the fourth inning. 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a miss. Good, another good fastball. Karwatsky unable to catch up with that one. And there's a dead ball, another hit by pitch. Just came in a little tight on that one. 
Got a runner on now for Braden Tanklevich. Two outs in the inning. First pitch, strike on the outside corner. Tanklevich joking up slightly. Swing and a miss, strike two. Here's the pitch. That's outside, and that's going to allow Karwatsky to get down to second. One ball, two strikes now to Braden Tanklevich, right fielder for the Angels. Here's the pitch. Strike. Oh, just a little low. Two and two now. Two outs. That one's low and outside. Runner will take third now, Tanklevich, and that's a full count now for Tanklevich. Here's a pitch, ball four. Pick up a few other defensive changes here for the Pirates. I think that's behind the plate now is Roman Haskins. Took over behind the plate. That one's just a little outside. Runner will take second. So now two runners in scoring position for the Angels with two outs in the inning. Tyler Williams looks at strike one, one and one. There's a pitch, that's in there for strike two. One ball and two strikes. Gasper trying to end this threat. Whoa, that got a little bit of the helmet. So another hit by pitch in the inning, loads him up for Cameron Culp as he will come to the plate with a, with two outs in the inning. Cameron Culp now. Here's a pitch. That got a little bit away and no chance there for Karwatsky to advance. Trying to look at the defense for the Pirates. I believe that is um, Sutton down at third. Trying to pick up these numbers. Another hit by pitch. Third one of the inning and that's going to be a RBI for Cameron Culp. Hit. That's the third one. I believe that means he has to be removed. So that is three hit batsmen in an inning. Yes, that is three in the inning. So that's going to require a pitching change. And discussed it a little bit there is Tyler Gasper, but with this pitching change, we'll take a quick timeout, try to regroup here, another run in. So that's five to nothing, the Angels on top. We'll be right back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so we turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, Ben White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, Ben White, just give them. Welcome back. Now on to pitch, Gary Smitley for the Pirates. And stepping in is Carson Scott with the bases loaded and two outs. Scott with the 
solo home run back into third. Big bat at the plate with the bases loaded. Carson puts the ball in play. That one's low and outside for ball one. No place to put him. Score now five to nothing. Angels on top. Smitley with the delivery. That's high and away. Two and zero. Oh. Smitley trying to find the strike zone against Carson Scott. Here's the pitch, low and in, in the dirt. Good stop there by Roman. 3 0. 3 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Green light there for Carson Scott. 3 0. Here's a 3-1 pitch. Strike two, good fastball there by Smitley. Full count now. Smitley to Scott. Here's the delivery, ah, oh, caught a cotton in his hand and that's ball four. Try to overthrow that one. That's gonna bring in another run for the Angels, make it six to nothing. And coming to the plate will be Piwowar, two for two. Come on, have some backyard fun, boys. Let's go. Have fun. No pressure. Infield, two infield singles. Just a game. Just a game. Have fun. Mitley, two Piwowar. That's slow and outside. Got away, but right back into the glove of Roman Haskins behind the plate. One zero pitch. Just inside, 2-0. Looking for the third out here in the inning. Two runs in for the Angels. 2-0 pitch, just inside, 3-0. Mitley working to Piwowar. Good pitch there, right down the middle for strike one. Three and one. Spent Lee again. Good pitch again for strike two. Big pitch now, full count again to Piwowar. Here's a pitch. There's a looper into left field, and that's going to fall for a base hit. Get by the left fielder. That's going to bring in three runs at least on a two run double by Braden Piwowar. Clears the bases. Adds on for the Angels, now leading nine to nothing. Big hit there by Braden Piwowar on a 3 2 pitch. Just looped it into left field, got in the gap for a three run double. So that brings in five runs in the inning, makes it nine to nothing. Here's a, at the plate now, looks at strike one is Rosendale. And down to third comes Piwowar.
Rosendale at the plate. Been hit by a pitch and walked so far here. That one's in the dirt. No chance to advance there by Piwowar, 2-0. Two zero pitch now, Rosendale. That one's just in the dirt. I believe I have to count it: two balls and one strike. With two outs in the inning, Smitley trying to end things here in the fourth. Concentrating on that mitt. And there's another shot down the third base side out of play for strike two. So a good pitch there by Smitley, two and two. Smitley eyes the mitt. Just a little bit high, three and two now. Rosendale, ninth batter in the inning to come to the plate for the Angels. There's a pitch, just a little low for ball four. Another runner on now. Rosendale just takes off and goes all the way around to second. Brings in Thorpe. 0 for two so far. Just inside, good pitch there by Smitley, just barely inside. one -oh pitch, we're in the top of the fourth. Shot down third, that's foul. Good rip there by Thorpe down the third base line. New ball in as that one went under the fence, thrown in now. One ball, one strike. Gene Thorpe at the plate for the Angels. There's a shot into right center. That's going to be two runs in for the Angels making it 11 to nothing. Good play out there in center field. Running over to make that play. Got Cameron Culp. And brings in two more runs for the, the Angels making it 11 to nothing here in the fourth. Do up Lucas Mathias, the catcher, has to get rid of those shin guards before he comes to the plate for the second time in the inning. One for two so far with a run scored for Mathias. Just a little low and outside. Smitley on in relief of Gasper, who started the fourth inning. Had two outs, but unable to continue due to three hit batsmen. That one's high and inside for ball two. Runner on at first is Gene Thorpe. Two zero pitch. Smitley to Matthias. Ball three. Three and oh. Three. 
Smidley looking for the first strike to Matthias. That'll be ball four in the dirt. So first and second now. Time called by the Pirates. Let's see. So a little bit of a discussion on what they needed to do here, and that's going to bring in another new pitcher. That's going to be Van Meter, who's going to move from first. He started the game at catcher, moved to first base. Now he will have an opportunity to try to throw strikes. With two outs in the inning, seven runs in, making it 11 to nothing for the Angels. Let's see if Van Meter can throw strikes. And as he finishes his warm ups, we'll take a quick break here in the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Here we go now, Adam Thomas stepping in for the Angels to face Cam Van Meter. That's in for a ball, first pitch, a little bit outside. Ball two, a little bit outside. Two men on for the Angels. All kind of action here in the inning for the Angels. We got one, two hits, and one, two, three walks, and three hit batsmen. There's a strike to Thomas. Two balls and a strike, two outs in the inning. Two, one pitch. Just a little bit outside, three and one. Van Meter trying to get this third out in the fourth. That's in there for a strike. Full count again. Adam Thomas in there for the Angels. Here's a pitch. Ball four, just a little high and tight. That'll load him up again and brings Karwatsky to the plate for his second opportunity in the inning. Hit by a pitch. Earlier in the inning, came around to score the first run of the inning. First pitch, and there's a ground ball to third. Just tap third, and you got it. So play down there at third by Alex Sutton. Ends the inning unassisted, but a big, big inning for the Angels. Has them out on top now, 11 to nothing, as we go to the bottom of the fourth here in the South Union Township Sports Network. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Welcome back for the bottom half of the fourth inning. Angels posting seven in the top of the fourth to make it 11 to nothing. Due up now. And there's a rip to first base and making the play quickly over to first base. New first baseman. That's number seven. And that is, I believe, Cameron Culp now at first base. 
Nice play unassisted, getting Alex Sutton on one pitch. In their pitching now for the Angels is Adam Thomas, number eight. At the plate, Anthony Servone getting an opportunity here. There's a big rip into left field, and that's going to be a ringing single by Anthony Servone. Second hit of the game for the Pirates. Nice rip there by Servone. Brings up Smitley with one out here in the fourth. Angels leading 11 to nothing. The Pirates have work to do here in the fourth. Playing shortstop now for the Angels is Thorpe. I believe behind the plate now is Cameron Scott. I'm sorry, Carson Scott. I did it again. Oh, that's Rosendale behind the plate. Trying to pick up these defensive moves. I think Scott's out in center field. He is. Carson Scott's out in center field. Outside. Zervone now down on second after the wild pitch. Another rip down third, and that's going to be trouble. Big shot there down to third by Smitley. Unable to make the play down there at third. That's Karwatsky. And that's going to bring up Luke Grimm with one out in the inning. Two runners on. Ball outside. Grimm at the plate. Outside, ball two. On in relief, Adam Thomas for the Angels. Swing at the high fastball, two and one. Thorpe went three innings for the Angels, did not give up a run. Five strikeouts. That's outside three and one. Make that six strikeouts for Thorpe. There's a slow roller to the pitcher. Play to first, got him. Good hustle down the line there by Luke Grimm. Play goes Adam Thomas to Cameron Culp for the second out of the inning. Van Meter will come to the plate with two outs. Runners on second and third. Pitches outside. No chance for the Pirates to advance. One out of Van Meter. He looks at ball too high. Thomas trying to get the third out of the inning. Two O pitch. Swing and a miss at the Fastball belt high. Three, ball three outside. Three and one now to Van Meter. Haskins on deck. Here's the 3-1 pitch, ball four high. So Van Meter works a walk, loads them up now for Haskins. Pirates trying to extend things here, trailing 11 to nothing in the fourth. So Haskins with an opportunity, ducks on the pond for the Pirates. 
First pitch, just a little bit outside. So Adam Thomas on in relief. Haskins at the plate. There's a ground ball to first and through. So that's going to score at least one run. They're going to have no play at the plate as Smitley will score. Now another opportunity for... And three runs in for the Pirates as they will extend things here in the fourth inning. So that ball down the first baseline getting through, causing all kind of problems for the Angels. And that'll clean the bases, three runs in. Makes the score now 11 to three. At the plate now, Jacob Jones walked in his own only plate appearance in the third. There's a shot down third, ripping single for Jacob Jones. That'll score another run. He's going to try for two. He's in safely. Jacob Jones, RBI single down the third baseline, scores another run for the Pirates, making it 11-4. And Hunter Bolin will get an opportunity here with two outs in the inning. Just outside. Foul tip. Good pitch there in the zone by Adam Thomas. Getting a piece and fouling it back, Hunter Bolin. So Pirates come to life here in the fourth inning. Pushing four across. Next pitch. Swing and a miss. Big cut there by Bolin. One and two is the count. Bottom of the fourth inning. Another ground ball. That's up the middle. Tough play at second base. Throw over. Not in time. Infield single is going to bring another run in for the Pirates, scoring Jacob Jones from second. RBI single now for Hunter Bolin. Adds on for the Pirates. Ninth batter to the plate now for the Pirates in the inning. Trent Clemmer looks at ball one. Little jockeying down there at first. Hunter Bolin took a big lead. Good play there by Angels catcher Rosendale as he ran right at him. Swing and a miss. Don't worry about him, bro. Don't worry about him. I was going to sit there. Clemmer at the plate. Outside, two and one. Thomas trying to end things here in the fourth for the Pirates. There's a high fastball inside. Three and one. Three one pitch. Foul tip. Got life. Clamor at the plate. Five runs in for the Pirates here in the fourth. Making it 11 to five. Foul tip again, good cut there by Trent Clemmer. Now, Thomas to Clemmer, just a little bit high, ball four. Time called now with two runners on. This is the 10th batter to come to the plate now for the Pirates. Looks like they're going to have a little bit of a pitching change. Coming into pitch now, I believe, is going to be Carson Scott. Heading to...
Looks like shortstop is going to be Thomas. So Scott coming in to pitch here in the fourth. Thomas goes to short. And moving over to first base is going to be Gene Thorpe. Moving out to center field is going to be Cameron Culp. So that's your defensive changes for the Angels. And due up for the Pirates, leadoff hitter Tyler Gasper. First and second, two outs, five runs in for the Pirates. Carson Scott trying to end things here in the inning will face Tyler Gasper. Gasper with a single in the first. There's a shot to short. Knocked down. Played a second. He is out. Nice play for shortstop Thomas as he flips to the second baseman. Matthias to end the inning on a fielder's choice, 6-4, to four, so that will do it. But the Pirates do play five. We'll go to the top half of the fifth inning. It's the Angels 11, the Pirates 5 on the South Union Township Sports Network. Welcome back. We're ready for the top half of the fifth inning. The Angels coming to the plate. Um, two up, four. The Angels. I'm a little confused with this. I had Braden Tanklevich do up, but I believe this is Culp. First pitch from the new pitcher for the Pirates, Roman Haskins, just a little outside, ball one. Foul back. Haskins on the mound for the Pirates. There's a pitch, low and outside. Two and one. Haskins brings it in. Ball, three and one. Ball four. So on first with the walk. Yes, 
It's Tanklevich. I got the uh, lineup a little messed up there. Tanklevich is wearing number seven. Now Tyler Williams will be at the plate. First pitch, high and outside, ball one. Got it straight now. Strike called. One and one. I'm, I think the lineup got a little bit skewed with one of the players being ejected for the uh, Angels. Swing and a miss by Williams. Missed that conversation back in the fourth inning, the end of the fourth. A little bit of a conversation. There's a wild pitch back down to second. Ground ball, back to the pitcher through, making the play it short, but not in time. Good play on to first. Good backup there by Jacob Jones. Throws it over to first and unable to make the out though as Williams on with a single. Brings up Carson Scott as we are one less player now for the Angels. Haskins to Scott, just outside, one and one. Game to follow. Leaves the A's and the Dodgers. That's inside. Two balls and one strike to Carson Scott. 11 to 5 is our score. High and inside. Swing and a miss, big cut there by Scott. Trying to launch another one out of here. Already has one over the left field fence this evening. First and third, and there's a high and inside ball four. So now the bases are loaded with nobody out. And that's gonna bring up Braden Puowar. Haskins trying to find the strike zone. There's one in there for a strike. Piwowar taking all the way. Ground ball to short. That's going to be in the hole for a base hit, scoring at least one run. Throws it in. Nice play out there in left field. I believe that was Servone making a nice play, keeping it to one run. So a RBI single for Piwowar makes it 12 to five. And Rosendale will come to the plate. Way up in the box. Haskins trying to work outs here in the fifth inning. Base is loaded, nobody out. There's a shot right up the middle, and that's going to be played it by scoring on the play. Both P. Wo I'm sorry, Scott and Tanklovich. So base hit for Rosendale. We'll score two more. Williams and Scott scores. Down to third base is Piwowar. And getting into second on the throw was Carter Rosendale. 
So three runs in in the inning makes it 14 to five and Thorpe will come to the plate with still nobody out and runners at second and third. Foul back by Thorpe. Off and running on the contact out there, Rosendale at second base. Thorpe one for three here this evening. There's another shot up the middle, another base hit that's going to score at least one. There's going to be a play at the plate, and he is going to be safe. Scoring on the play was Rosendale. Nice throw out there from center field by Gasper to home plate, but just kind of behind home plate. Catcher unable to make that play. I believe back there catching now is Sutton. And that's going to score two more on the single by Thorpe. So now it's 16 to 5. Little looper foul ball on the pavilion down the left field line. Strike one as Matthias is at the plate now. Still nobody out. Six men at the plate so far for the Angels here in the top of the fifth. Ground ball up the middle again. They're just beating the ball up the middle. Throw to second. Nice play out there in center field by Tyler Gasper. Gets the force at second as Smitley was covering. So a fielder's choice for Matthias, and the first out of the inning goes eight to four. Force out at second. You're not going to see that too often. And now Thomas will be at the plate. Looks at ball one. One out now. Runner on at first is Matthias. Ground ball to third, and that's through for a hit. Streaking around to third base, and now he's going to try to score. Play it to plate. Can't do it. Scoring is Matthias, and in the third on the throw is Adam Thomas. So another hit there for Thomas. Scoring on the play was Matthias coming all the way around from first, just kept on coming. Scores another run, so one, two, three, four, five, six runs in the inning, 17 now. For the Angels. Going to bring up Casey Karwatsky at the plate. Ball outside. Here's a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Played by Smitley. Too late. That's going to score another run. Thomas scores. Karwatsky with a single, and that's going to bring to the bat, I believe, whoever lead, lead, led off, that was number seven. Led off the inning. One out in the inning. Tanklevich looks at ball one. Ball two. So all kind of action here in the fifth for the Angels. Strike on the outside corner. 18 to five now, the Angels on top. Seven runs in in the inning. Ha 
Haskins. Working to Tanklevich. There's a strike. Full count. Runner on first is Karwatsky. That's in the dirt for ball four. Score book's a mess. Williams coming to the plate. First pitch to Williams. There's a rip to second. And a double play. Nice play there by Smitley as he snares the line drive. Touch second for the double play to end the inning. The Angels push across seven. Now lead 18 to five as we go to the bottom of the fifth on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. In any endeavor, experience is probably the most important factor, but it's got to be the right kind of experience. Experience in the community where the case is tried, where the jurors live, where the judges work. We've been doing this since 1976 at Davis and Davis. That's a long time. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Welcome back, Gary. Frank Kowser along with Jerry DuPay on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Bottom of the fifth inning. Angels on top, 18 to five. Carson Scott on the mound for the Angels to face the first batter of the inning for the Pirates. Ball one outside. Alex Sutton. Leading off for the Pirates here in the fifth. Fastball with smoke by Scott for strike one. Strike two, one and two. Sutton looking to get things started for the Pirates. Scored five runs in their last inning. Keep things going here. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So first batter in the inning for the Pirates. Unsuccessful. Brings up Anthony Servone. One for two. Been on base both times. Swing and a miss for strike one. Servone playing center field and left field for the Pirates here this evening. One and one. Carson Scott working quickly with the windup. Throws it high. Two and one. That one got away from him. Strike two called. Belt high fastball. One out in the inning. One and two the count. Here's the pitch. Inside slightly. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Strike three called on the inside corner for the second out of the inning. Smitley now coming to the plate, one for two, scored a run back in the fourth. Scott with the delivery, one hopper back to Scott. He'll flip it to Thorpe for the out, one to three. Nice play there by Scott. 
on a hard hit ball. Three up, three down for the Pirates in the fifth. And that'll do it with the 10 run rule. 18 to five, Angels over the Pirates. We'll be back to tell you all about it here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. The Angels prevail over the Pirates 18 to five in a five inning affair. The Angels scoring three in the first, one in the third, seven in the fourth, and seven in the fifth for their total of 18. Big hits for the Angels, home run by Carson Scott. Three run inside the park home run by Lucas Mathias in the first, got things going and Gene Thorpe was two for four for the Angels, and they post the 18 to five victory for the Pirates. Big inning in the fourth inning where they pushed across five runs with the uh, four hits that they posted in that inning. Got things back going for the Pirates, but it was not enough as the Angels pushed across seven in the fifth to make things very difficult for the Pirates with the win 18 to five. This evening's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbeier, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlanta Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, everyone at CUT TV with Gary Smith and his staff. This has been Gary Frankhauser on the play-by-play, -play, Jerry DuPay on the camera, another South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Good night, everyone.